I mean, you know, we never lost confidence, you know, throughout the game. They got down, they got up 14, I think, in the second quarter. You know, we knew it was a lot of game left, and we knew we would make our run. You know, at the end of the day, you know, coming into their house, they're a great team. They're going to make runs, but, you know, we never got to a point to where we felt like we couldn't win the game. Do you think you guys did against Mark and Zach? Uh, I think we did an okay job. I mean, um, they got their numbers or whatever, but... You know, it was hard fought, and, you know, that's why they're the players they are. They're going to get their numbers. Um, but we did a pretty good job. We just got to continue to work and get better. How you feel you did against Zach? Uh, okay. Not good, not bad. It's okay. It seemed like he got his and you got yours. I mean, I think I'm a pretty good defender. Um He's obviously a very good def a good offensive player, you know, so it's going to be stretches like that, you know. It's going to be times where I get the best of him, and it's going to be times where he get the best of me. Um, at the end of the day, he battled, I battled, and, you know, that's what you expect out of two Spartans, right? So it is what it is. Is it too early to reflect on this streak and everything you guys did during this run? Uh, it was a good streak. Um, you know, 16 games in a row, it's hard to come by, you know, so that don't happen every day. Um, you know, great streak. Streaks are made to be broken. Um, you know, we didn't expect to win the next, what, 60 games, whatever it was in a row. You know, but at the end of the day, we came here and fought. We battled. You know, we got down, we clawed back. We got down 10, we clawed back. We continued to fight, and that's that's a, that's a great sign. You know, so a uh, tough one. You know, hate to lose, hate for the streak to end, but let's start a new one. Um, I mean, you got to give them a lot of credit. You know, they really play really good defense. Um, you know, Zach was better in the ball strings than I thought he would be. Um, you know, Tony Allen always causing havoc. Uh, Mike Conley was good, and obviously, um, you know, Mark anchors everything. You know, so they were good defensively. You got to give them some credit. Uh, you know, I don't think we were ourselves on the offense, man, but like I said, you have to give them some credit for that as well. You know, so we'll take a little bit of the blame for that because, you know, we didn't execute how we could have. You know, um, against a team like this, the first option not going to be there. The second option may not be there. You got to get into those third or fourth options. So, you know, this was a good game for us um, because this is a playoff type game where you got to get to the second, third, and fourth option and fifth option and play. You know, it's, it's not going to – that first one is not going to be there against a good defensive team like that. So, it's a good learning experience for us. Um, shows us what we need to get better at. That's executing, you know, getting to the – in the plays and like I said, third or fourth option. So you know, it was good and yeah, it's a good test for us. You said uh, that Zach did well on the ball screens. It seemed like you guys were going for that one four pick and roll trying to get at him. What do you do well defensively? Oh, uh, you know, he was he was there. Um, you know, he did a good job showing. You know we did want to get him in the pick and roll because we don't think that's his, his strong suit. And yeah. you know, still don't, but he was great at it tonight. You know, you got to give him some credit for that. Uh, you know, he knew that we were going to try to do that, and he responded well to it. So, you know, um, not to say that next time we play them, that won't work. You know, you never know. But he was great at that tonight, and, you know, that made a huge difference for them. I, I was – I couldn't help but notice that you're Vince Carter's height and you're getting the five-block shots. What, what allows you to play big like that um, at, you know, swingman height? Heart. Just – how to have heart and battle. You know, at the end of the day, I've been undersized my pretty much my entire life. You know, so I mean, at least at levels that it really matters. You know, so just gotta have heart and battle, and you know, I'm always gonna do that. And I don't think people really know how long my arms is. That helped me out a lot as well.